46 years after adopting the new national anthem tagged Arise Upon Patriots, the National Assembly appears to be in a hurry to revert to the old anthem, Nigeria, we hail thee. During Thursday's plenary sessions in both chambers, a bill to effect the change was considered. In the Senate, lawmakers, after a closed-door session to debate on the bill, assert that the current national anthem is a product of the military junta. This bill is going to be subjected to public hearing, which is in tandem with our democratic norms and values, and Nigerians have the right to say whether we should retain the present national anthem as it is, or go back to the national anthem with amendment. There is nothing in the current national anthem that mobilizes our people to action. So I support that this bill should be read for a second time because it arouses patriotism and a call to defend the nation. Uh, Leader of the Senate, uh, I want to thank you for bringing this bill. And uh, maybe because I was born in that era and not in the Gen Z era. The bill then scales second reading and is referred to the committees on judiciary, human rights and legal services. In the lower chamber, the majority and minority leaders shared different opinions about the bill. As people, as Nigerians, confronting a new renewed hope moving forward, tackling the rot, decay, dislocation and distortions of the past, we should go back to our old national anthem, which gives us that energy that sense of commitment, sense of dedication, and the desire to move Nigeria forward. The old national anthem was authored by Lillian Jean Williams and composed by Francis Bender, both of them breathe on. And after independence, we tried as much as possible to Nigerianize our actions. So, sir, today we are taking ourselves back to that old national anthem. Is this very important at this particular juncture in our national life? A brief debate for and against the bill ensues. Yeah, I don't know how this national anthem even affects the well-being of the common man in Nigeria. The labor of our heroes past should not be in vain. I did not invent. My father is a retired Nigerian army. His own pension has not been paid promptly. The bill quickly scales second reading and is quickly considered by the Committee of the Whole then passed eventually. The eyes have it. In the meantime, the House considers a matter of urgent public importance on the living wage bill and the takeover of Banex Plaza in Abuja by the military. This House adopted a resolution of a motion on the need to provide living wage for workers in Nigeria. The report was supposed to have been presented to the House prior to this time, Mr. Speaker. I'm worried that, as all of us here, we're also worried that LSE and TUC have issued a notice of national strike from 31st May, which is next week, Friday, Mr. Speaker. The House is still concerned about the inappropriate use of military personnel in civil matters. The House is hereby resolved to, one, urge the federal government and the Nigeria army to reopen Banex Plaza immediately. The matter has referred to relevant House committees for an investigation and recommendation to forestall future occurrence. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.